Heart attack patients are at the greatest risk of losing their lives in the first critical minutes. If a patient is having a very severe heart attack, um, we are tasked with bringing the patient to the cath lab and, and having the artery open within 90 minutes. But what happens during those 90 minutes? Traditionally, it's been a high-dose IV of drugs to regulate blood flow and pressure. Ironically, these medicines are somewhat toxic to the body and the heart specifically. It's akin to flogging a horse that you're riding and you're just trying to get the last ounce of strength out of it. That's because the infusions are derivatives of adrenaline. But Temple University doctors are establishing protocol for a new device called the impella pump. The device allows us to let the heart rest as opposed to flogging it, therefore allowing the better, best chance of recovery after um, the balloon and the stent are performed. The tiny impella pump is temporarily inserted through the groin to stabilize blood flow, giving the interventional cardiologist time to deploy the permanent stent to keep the artery open. The catheter goes across the valve like this, and then it sits right in the left ventricle right there, and that then allows the blood to be sucked from the left ventricle and injected into the aorta, which is the largest chamber of the heart. This device will allow us to then support those patients and keep them stable during the procedure because what can sometimes happen is during the procedure to open the blocked artery, um, they, can they can become very critically on the table and uh, potentially suffer cardiac arrest. I'm Marty Salt reporting.